So I started smoking cigarettes about 12 years old, and I, um, not pointing fingers, but uh, Mama Rock. Yeah. She would leave her Marlboro Lights, you know, just regular, you know, the not 100s, you know, just the old school Marlboro Light packs on the dryer in the basement. My room was in the basement. So, and I'm going to be straight up honest. I just thought it was cool blowing the smoke out, especially out of your nose, you know. So, I, you know, th for at least the first month, I wasn't even inhaling. I was just like puffing on them, you know, and blank, like a cigar, you know. Mm -hmm. I didn't know you're supposed to inhale them, which, you know, I'm leaving that door wide open for you. But anyway, so <laughs> somebody, she said to, you know, I went to, what I would do is I would just flick the cigarette against the wall, you know, so it'd go out. And the way the basement, my, you know, my basement was, there was like a throw rug, but there's an area just concrete. So, you know, nothing would catch on fire and I didn't want to get caught. Right. But anyway, uh, still 12 years old, maybe just getting ready to turn 13 is when I started smoking weed. And that went all the way to 17 years old. And then I had to stop because I got burnt out way too fast. <laughs> oh, I'm already burned out of this podcast today. But, <laughs> <laughs> but I, I really do. I love it, man. You know, like, but I'm kind of like a weed snob in a way, you know, like I will not like if I get a bag and there's sticks and seeds and stuff in it, um, I will not. No, I don't want nothing to do with that. Right. Now, yeah. when you get a higher grade weed and you find a seed, you bet your ass I'm saving that. Yeah. You know, but you need like to germinate. You need a male and a female, you know, just like us, I guess, I, you know. I wanted to quickly m mention this to you guys because it's part of technology and what I read this week. Cigarettes are now apparently causing lung diseases in people. Did you guys read a story about that at all? It says it right on the back, dude. Oh, well, no, no, no. E-cigarettes, not like basic cigarettes. Oh, e-cigarettes. E yeah, I'm talking about those those e-cigarettes that people are smoking these days. Now, they, apparently, they're finding out that they cause lung diseases. E-cigarettes are, I, I'm sorry. I mean, I, I obviously understand the concept of them, but those, at least, all right, rolling your own, you know, like they does. There's so much less chemicals in there versus buying a pack. The right. list of what they put in there is ridiculous, you know? Mm -hmm. Including poison off, like, basement could, walls, you know? It's so, the salt, truth. Salt Peter, salt Peter it's, it's, yes. you know, it's a mold. Oh, gee. And put, what business uh, it's does that literally have? mold. Ugh. But if you ever, you could Google what are the ingredients in cigarettes, you know? And there's a mile-long list. It'd take you 15 minutes just to read them. And then if you're curious about them and actually look up what it is, it's, you know, it's, it's insane. But if you, if you are a smoker, you know, not only like if you are rolling your own cigarettes, one, you're saving a shitload of money for one thing. I mean, there, cigarettes yeah. are here around here. The cheapest pack of cigarettes you're buying is close to eight bucks. Wow. Out here, pack. out here, it'd be like 10, 10 bucks for a, for a, a cigarette pack. Okay. Like 10 or 20 for maybe about 20. Uh, and then convert that into American dollars. It's about the same. Yeah, we're pretty close. I know you guys are, things are a little bit more expensive there than yeah. here. Yeah. It's because Canadian value sucks. Yeah. <laughs>